Well, all eyes have been on President Biden's approval numbers. We have exclusive Hill-Harris X data on just that. The new poll found Biden has only seen a small bump from the infrastructure bill passage. He's at 44% approval, three points above the real clear politics average, which is 41%. On the issues, Biden is below water across the board, managing the coronavirus at 47%, stimulating jobs at 41% approve. His lowest marks are on immigration, 34% approve, fighting terrorism, 36%, and foreign affairs, 37%. Harris continues to trail Biden with 40% approval ratings. Most important issues is neck and neck between coronavirus, 29%, and the economy jobs, 28%, with immigration at 23%, healthcare at 18%, and the national debt, 15%, rounding out the top five. So a little bit of an increase for, uh, for the president. Um, I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. It might be... Maybe we've just put enough distance now between Afghanistan mm -hmm. and this. I think that could help. Uh, maybe the, um, of course, I don't know exactly when the, well, this was, we do this, this is conducted, this is new. Right. So, so it, it could be the, maybe the shock of inflation wearing off. Um, I, I guess it could, the, the prospect of, uh, of build back better, of infrastructure, of, you know, money coming to the people right. could potentially help. Yeah, and the, the, low, the low rating on creating jobs is kind of funny, um, <laughs> give, given that there's like all of this hype about this massive labor shortage, that, that there, the problem is not uh, too few jobs. The problem is too few workers who are willing to, willing to work those jobs at the wages uh, that, are, that are being offered. I think ultimately COVID is going to end up driving a ton of this. Yeah. Like, and COVID is ticking up, so I would expect that you might see his his numbers decline a little and bit. Although after. his handling of COVID t tends to be some of his highest, uh, and that, as was the case, what I just read. That's true. Tends to be on the higher end, which is funny because I, I think there's, <laughs> there's nothing. I, I think the federal government has mishandled more than the coronavirus, right. but uh, and, and across both administrations, but um, people seem to uh, seem to approve more of that than other right. st other stuff. And also, we learned a couple days ago that the Department of Labor had miscalculated job growth throughout the summer. Right. And so you had month after month where Wall Street and all these other, uh, all these other uh, forecasting firms were projecting these like, significant uh, numbers of, jo of jobs being grown per month. And then the Labor Department would come out and say, well, actually, it was a massive miss. And you'd have all of these people saying, wow, what, what, a, what a catastrophe, catastrophic miss for the economy. And you'd see the market would dive, and, and, and it would influence all of the policy discussions. We've now learned that it was the biggest uh, error in the history of the Department of Labor's calculation of jobs. Because, and they, they said it's basically because um, uh, small business owners and, and other managers are just so overwhelmed mm -hmm. right now. Uh, so this is kind of a supply chain issue in a way uh, that they weren't filling out the surveys and getting them back in time. And so they were going with just the people who weren't overwhelmed. And if, if you're not overwhelmed, you're probably you know, hiring a little bit less right. than if you are overwhelmed. And so once the numbers came in, it's like, oh, wait, things are going really well here. Uh, and so if, once he gets, if he gets the Build Back Better bill passed and the supply chain things get worked out, which it, it does appear that, this, that you know, according to corporate CEOs, Wall, the Walmart CEO was saying the other day that, that, that they're seeing things you know, starting to flow again. And if that brings prices down, you, I think you could uh, you know, continue to see his numbers go up. But at the same time, there's going to be downward pressure if you continue to see these COVID numbers rise. Whether That's or not the, they think he's doing it well, yeah. if people are dying at a clip of 1,000 or 2,000 a day, people are just, that doesn't make people happy. And they take that out on the president, which is not a, it's not a partisan thing. That's just how voters respond. If the pandemic cooperates, this I think this could be the low point in Biden's right. numbers, and I think they're likely to rebound, which has got to have Trump pulling his hair out. Right. <laughs> he wants them to he wants them to crater, you know, I don't know, two years from now, mm -hmm. or a year from now, right. at least, uh, 18 months from now, and then to, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, then Trump will launch his campaign, get going, et cetera. I mean, if he plans to do right. that, maybe he won't do that, but if, if the numbers are where they are right now, there's no way Trump doesn't run. 
Right. And, and if you're going to crater, now is the time to do now it. Now is the time to do it. Right. Yeah. Because they're right. going to get wiped out in the midterms anyway. Right. And, and that's a massive if. The, the question of, yeah. you know, if, if, the, if COVID cooperates, because it's so weird. And as David Leonard of the New York Times was, was pointing out today, we understand it as seasonal. And it, there certainly does seem to be some seasonality to it, but it's more complicated than that because Canada is not seeing, you know, mm -hmm. the coldest parts of Canada are not seeing the same upticks that we're seeing. So there's also something else going on that we don't quite understand. Uh, the numbers, you know, the number of cases, you know, were down in the 70,000 a day. Now they're, well, now they're over 90,000 a day in just a very short amount of time. If that continues to climb. The thing yeah. I'm most concerned about is a new, is honestly a new strain yeah. emerging because Delta really just ruined, <laughs> ruined the party. Yes. A very unwanted party guest. Yeah, a very unwelcome. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll have more rising right after this.